So, guys, did you understand the rules of indirect speech? Fine. If you will have any questions after our practice, don't doubt to come to me after the lesson and ask all your questions. Okay? Okay. And uh, now let's check your homework. Which, as you remember, was to... Hmm? Exactly. To read a part of the article and uh, hmm, think about your impressions and uh, think what was the most interesting in it and record your thoughts on uh, the video uh, for one minute. Did you manage to do it? Well done! Okay, and I hope you all uploaded it to our Google disk. Okay, fine. So uh, now we're going to watch it. But, please, everyone else who is watching the video, be very attentive, because later we will use uh, this um, information, which we will get from the videos, in our next tasks. So, don't relax too much, pay attention and uh, you should even make notes. Okay? Ready? Well done. So, we will uh, um, go in the same order as uh, the story goes. Uh, so, who was uh, the first one? Let's see. Let's turn on this video. Get ready. Okay. Wow. Seems like your part of the story was really interesting. Did you like the video? Okay. Uh, and uh, did you understand everything that uh, Bode was saying to us? Okay. Did you make notes? Fine. So we can uh, move on to the next one, yeah? Perfect. Okay, wow, this, those were nice videos. Um, and now we're going to uh, practice indirect speech. And for this I ask you to find a pair. Mm -hmm. And uh, now your task is to remember what was your partner's video about and write one or two sentences um, telling us uh, what did your uh, partner tell um, in uh, well using indirect speech and uh, when you finish writing your partner is supposed to check your sentences uh, to make sure there are no uh, content mistakes and no uh, grammar mistakes well as much as you can find and uh, you will have uh, three minutes to write uh, those sentences and one minute to check them do you have any questions? No questions? Then let's go! And uh, I will put uh, the presentation. Please, uh, you can uh, uh, check this information to um, make sure that uh, you use uh, indirect speech correctly. Okay, and uh, you can ask uh, questions also. Okay, well, you are great. And um, so far, we have uh, covered the whole article twice. Yeah, first uh, using the video reports, and uh, second time uh, using your indirect speech uh, sentences. Um, so, do you have a, a complete vision of this article? What was it about? What were the highlights? Okay, great. Uh, so now uh, again, think about it. What did you like most in it? What was the most interesting part? What uh, did the, the characters uh, experience? Mm, how would you act if you were them? So just think about the whole article again, one more time. And uh, now we're going to make a short uh, writing activity. Um, now, without such big accent on the grammar, just feel free to 
uh, express your ideas and uh, don't forget to have fun. I'm talking about progressive writing. So for this, as you may see on the uh, board, um, I ask you to form uh, group groups of three. Uh -huh. And uh, each of you should have uh, his own paper and a pen. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will have uh, 30 seconds to write the first sentence of your short uh, text, essay, um, just uh, a bunch of ideas, whatever, emotions. Um, and uh, you can start thinking about it already now while I'm explaining you the task. So then I will give you a signal mm -hmm. and uh, um, with this signal you should switch your papers to the right. And uh, then you will have 30 seconds to read the previous, um, previously written uh, sentence and uh, add something from you. Uh, write one or two sentences more. And uh, again, after the clap, you switch again. And it happens until uh, the first person gets uh, his initial paper. And uh, then uh, uh, he or she will have uh, 30 seconds to read uh, everything that appeared there and uh, give uh, the whole piece a title. Mm -hmm. And uh, after this, we will have some fun time reading it aloud uh, with some emotions. And uh, then we will vote to choose uh, the best uh, two best ones, the most uh, interesting and the funniest one. Is it more or less clear? Okay, then please prepare your papers and pens. And uh, ready? 30 seconds, start it! Mm -hmm. Push to the right. 30 seconds later. Switch to the right. And 30 seconds later. Switch to the right. Mm -hmm. And the last time, everyone has his uh, initial paper. Perfect. Now uh, please uh, read it and uh, give it a title. 30 seconds again. Uh -huh. And the time is over. So uh, now everyone will read uh, his own paper which you have, uh, uh, well, your initial paper, which you started. And um, after reading this, I will ask you to vote. Vote uh, using uh, uh, this uh, form. Well, you can find it in this file. I will show you now. Here it is. So please go to this uh, link and uh, give your vote, give your voice. Uh, and uh, it will look like this. Which text had the most original ideas and which text was the funniest. And uh, after the lesson, when I see the results, I will publish the uh, most interesting one and the most the funniest one in our Facebook uh, group so uh, mm, you can uh, get inspired by those texts uh, uh, for your home assignments.